Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm the Novel Crown because I love facts, versus and all things novelty. So we're starting to come into some cooler weather. The leaves are starting to change. I love that because I love fall. And hopefully wherever you are, you're doing good. Okay, so I want to show you guys this Martha Stewart bag. So it's Martha Stewart and it's called the Perfect Bag. It has removable pouch and six exterior pockets. I really like this bag. I really do. Now it is um what is that like the what do you call the corduroy it's corduroy i hated corduroy as a kid you know when you put it on and you walk and it like swishes in between your legs hated that when i was a kid it seemed like my mom always wanted me to wear corduroy pants in the winter but corduroy as a bag i've not had a corduroy bag yet this is my first one and i'm loving it it's actually a really good bag the corduroy is so sturdy it does have kind of like some leather around and i'll show you guys that in a second but it is a really nice bag now i did pick this up at marshall's it was 29 dollars, which i think is a great price for this bag and there are so many pockets and features let me show you guys this bag okay so first the bag has, I mean, there's so much organization. Like there's a pocket here, there's a pocket there, there's a pocket here. And also on the back, there are the same three pockets. There's a nut, and these pockets are substantial. Like they go, look at my hand, like they go all the way down to the bottom and pocket here, a pocket there. So you have so many pockets in this bag. On the bottom, there's no feet, but it's this nice big leather, I'd say leatherette. Um, material that can easily be wiped clean especially if you need to sit it down on something and you know something might be a little wet you just wipe it off it has very nice handles now these handles do they go over my shoulder very well and with this leather they sit on my shoulder this bag actually rides on the shoulder really well as well and on the back I have my so this is the crossbody strap that goes with it now I don't I'm not gonna use this as a crossbody bag because it is too big for that. This is a nice, big, substantial bag. But if I need, you know, a crossbody strap or even just a, an extra shoulder strap, I have that. And on the inside, this is kind of like a bird's eye view. There is this nice wide, let me show you. There's this nice wide gusset right here that if I needed some extra room, like say I wanted to throw a jacket on top of there, I can easily do that. And I can zip that up and it gives like, what is that? Like three or four inches of like extra room in this bag. And so this is a really great bag. I'm really actually enjoying it, especially I have meetings that I have to get to this weekend and I'm going to be carrying this, carrying all my stuff in it. Really, really like it. I think they did a good job making this bag. I think I like the hardware. The hardware is nice and substantial. It feels very, very sturdy. It's gold which I think looks nice with the green bag. Now this is an olive green. I'm not sure how it's coming up. Let me see, I'm not sure exactly how it's coming up on camera. It's pretty true on camera. It's it's a nice rich olive green, but yeah, it is actually a great bag. Let me show you guys what I packed in it. So on the front here, I have, this is just a leather um, keychain. It's like a key charm. I got this off of Amazon. I thought that that would look really cute with the bag right now since it, we are going into fall. And I got this, it's a coin pouch. You just open it up. It's like a little leatherette leather coin pouch that I got from Timu. I don't have any coins right now in it, but I thought it'd be cute to hang on the side of the bag. Kind of goes with the leather and, um, you know, fall theme that I have going on right now with this bag. I thought that that would be really cute on there. And on the side right here, I have my quick hand sanitizer. You never know when you need to just sanitize your hands really quick and get them all nice and clean. And I hate sometimes having to dig in my bag if I just want to get hand sanitizer out. So I have that right there on the side. Let me show you guys what I have in the bag. Oh, hold on. Let me, um, I forgot. So on in these pockets, so I don't have anything in all the pockets going around because it's a lot of organization. I'm, I'm not carrying that much stuff right now. I'm sure by the end of this weekend, as I'm throwing stuff in this bag, <laughs> they will all be filled. But right now I don't have a lot in there. But on this pocket, I do have, so this is called a Zoku. I don't know if you could see that, if that's coming up. There you go. You can kind of see that it's kind of, um, what is that? Like raised, so you can feel it. It's a little bit hard to see. It does come on a bungee, but what it is, it is a wipes container. So I got this from Uncommon Goods 
and it comes with these little um, pouches like packs that you um, put down into the tube and well you take the silicone part off you put your wipes pack into the tube and then you just pull out a wipe as you need and then close it back up and then you have your wipe that you can use on whatever you want to use it on and then you can just hang it on the side of your bag or wherever you need to hang it and I thought that that was really fun you know I love novelty stuff you guys know that so I just stick that right in there so if I ever and it's actually really practical and really useful so if I ever need some wipes or something on my hands or something I'm gonna race and I need to wipe it off I just grab that out of there and then on the inside let me show you guys what I'm carrying so first I have my you guys have seen this before this is my um, snacks container and all it is it's like a um, makeup container that I got from Timu but it just holds two um, snack bars really well and I like carrying it in here because it's a lot easier to have it in here versus my snacks getting all crunched on the bottom of my bag uh, for those of you who were interested, so this is, um, the hand sanitizer is called Olika. So you can actually find it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, and they do sell it on Amazon, and I can put the link for anyone who is looking for it. And for this, um, it's from Uncommon Goods, and if you guys are interested in that, I'll look for the link for that and post that as well. I want to say it was about, like... $12 for the starter kit, and then you can get the wipes that go down into it. But it's actually very, very useful. It's very, very sturdy. It's like nice, sturdy plastic. For anyone who's interested, I'll look for that for you guys. And then the other things I have in here, I have quite a bit because, like I said, I am going to to quite a few meetings and I have a big meeting on Monday I have to get to. So I want to be prepared with all of my essentials just in case you never know. So, of course, I have my planner. So this is one of those Tula 12 planners, and it is just the cover of it. I can actually zip it off, and I can put different covers as the seasons change or if I need different um, covers, and then I just have a little um, coffee key charm right here. And then I have my pen, and this is the pen you guys have seen me use quite a few times. It is the Novel Crown. I got this off of... Where did I get this? Etsy, Amazon. I'll look and see and I'll post the link for you guys who are looking for a pin like that. And it's really cool. You can put whatever you want on it and then you can have it light up when you click the um, button right there. So yeah, this is just my Tula 12 planner. It's just one of those, um, what do you call it? Like a travel planner and it has like the different um, books and things that I need so that I can, so on the front, it just says hello, how's my little pouch and my to-do list and my um, calendars and things like that. So I love Tula 12. I think it's a pretty cool little system. Then of course, can't forget, I have my, so this is, I've shown this um, quite a few times, but I really like this. It is from Etsy and it is just my highlighters. They're gel highlighters and you can have them put whatever you want on the front. You can have it all personalized. And then once you're done with the highlighters, you can just use the container for whatever you want. So I really like carrying that. I really like using it with my planner. And then here is the pouch that actually came with the bag. So it you know, it matches the bag perfectly and it's a really nice, big, substantial pouch. So I could fit all kinds of stuff in here. So it's kind of become like my catch-all. And so of course I have my lotion. I've shown this, this is one of those vacuum bottles. It's like a vacuum. There's no stem in the middle of this bottle. And so you're able to, once you pump your lotion, the, um, like there's a little bottom plate that um, goes up as it's pressurized and the lotion comes out the top. And I got that off of Timu. So if you're looking for something like that, it's very similar to these right here. So if you look in there, you don't see stems. So these are my sprays, they're body sprays. And if you look on the inside, you see there's no stems in there, right? Or straws, or I don't know what you call them to get the liquid out. But if you see that bot, this one right here, you see how that's kind of up a little bit? That's because I've been using it and the pressure has pulled this up and eventually, you know, it'll go all the way up as I use the liquid. And this case um, came, like the whole thing came from Timo and I really like it. So if you're looking for something like that, it is called vacuum, like vacuum bottles. If you just look up vacuum bottles or vacuum travel bottles you should be able to find things like this and you know they have so many cases and all different sizes I have my better days ahead this is my lotion one of my other lotions it is mandarin and pepper smells really good I really like that lotion and then I just have some other like little essentials I have my so this is my um 
this is another hand sanitizer so you just pull that up and you know kind of similar to the same concept as scentbird if you've ever used scentbird or scentbox where they have scents well you can take this out and refill it with whatever hand sanitizer you're wanting to use and it is from um, stream to sea essentials really like this actually it smells really good and i like that it's very small and compact i can put it in my purse and i can refill it whenever i need to and then the other things i just have my chap floss one side is chapstick and the other side is floss like that so i can take that with me whenever i need to and then what this has become one of my favorite lip glosses it is the clean fresh yummy from color uh, cover girl yummy gloss i love that tastes really good <laughs> smells really good and then i have an emery board and a clear relief for my sinuses because we have some road construction going on right now it is making my sinuses crazy and the other thing i just have another lip gloss i have a small mascara and eyeliner just in case i need those and some face moisturizer so that's all that i have in here but i really like this bag that they brought with it and one thing i really like about this bag and the pouch is the lining is very nice it's nice and it's not like you know the shiny material that doesn't feel like it's you know it feels kind of cheap this actually isn't like that this is actually really nice it feels very substantial and plus it's the corduroy and the corduroy is just really sturdy i didn't realize i like a corduroy bag actually Okay, so the next thing I have is my Keep It Going first aid kit. So this is one of those kits where it's the company's called Keep It Going. You can go on their website and they have all different size um, first aid kits. And I got the small one. So this is a really small one for your purse, but it comes with all of this stuff on the inside. It comes with band-aids and antibiotic ointment. It comes with alcohol pads and aspirin and all kinds of things that you might need just in case you get a little scrape or something. So I really like that. Plus, I thought that that'd be really cute for the bag, cute for fall. And then the next thing I have in here, my um, JBL, my um, Pro Tour earbuds. So they're just earbuds and I really like them. So I got this um, because I had about completed 75 days in the gym and I'm still going. So now, I, as of today, I'm at 123 days in the gym straight. I needed to change some things in my life. And so that's one of the things that I decided to do is get in the gym, just start working out. And, you know, I was on the verge of like pre-diabetes and that kind of scared me a little bit. So I really wanted to make a change. And that's one of the things that I've done. So I got this for myself as I was completing that. And I just have my tile on here. And this is a teeny tiny little flashlight that I got from Timu. So yeah, I really like these. I think that they're pretty cool. Nice little um, earbuds. Okay, so the next thing I have in here, this is my tissue case. So I just made a tissue case. This is one of the things that I made and um, I just put together some material and it doesn't say anything really it just says A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And so I just put some, together some material and um, put my tissues in here and then I put a little zipper on the top and on the inside of there is some mints. Usually I carry um, cough drops but I don't need those right now but I can always use some mints. I like mints. Okay, so the next thing I have in here is my glasses. So just, just a pair of glasses that I have in here because I always tell you guys, if I don't have my glasses or contacts, we're not going anywhere because I can't see whatsoever. I have my wash and dry um, kit. So this is from Zinni and it's just a glasses wash and dry kit. It has a little um, spray bottle and a wipe on the back just in case I need to clean my glasses. And then I have, so I got this pouch for those of you who haven't seen it. I got it from Etsy and it's this company and I can um, link the link to them below but it's a really cool company because they can go in and they can put on your logo or your name and you can you know get different sizes of, of these um silicone pouches so on, the, on the inside of mine you see that magnet that magnet is really nice and substantial i like that but on the inside of mine i have my contacts lens case and i have a little clear eyes um free wetting drops just in case my contacts get dry and on the back this is tiara because tiara is my name and yeah you can have them put um, whatever you want on yours if you're looking to do something like this especially you know for gifts these are actually really really nice and there's different sizes you can go on and look for 
And I wanted to tell you guys, so on the inside, you see this right here. So I have, this is just an insert and it is a tote bag insert. And that's all I did. I just went on, I want to say I got this, I think from Amazon. I'll look and see if anyone's interested in a tote bag insert, but it has these different like pockets, like these different wells to make it easier to um, organize your things if you need to, you know, um, have you, I like to have my things organized. So if you, if you're like that, you want to have some organize, organization in your tote bag, these tote bag organizers work, work really, really well. So the next thing I have, this is just my little tech kit that I'm using right now. And I love this thing. So I show this on, I think my last video, but what it is, hold on, it's a little bit hard to open because it's kind of tight but what it is is this is actually a charger like this charges your phone and you see this cord right here that goes around I'm not going to take it out of this time um, last time I did take it out but it takes a little bit of finagling to get it back in but you take this cord, you take this piece right here and you find which piece you need to um, and you plug it into there you see how you can take this cord and plug it into that piece and now i can charge my iphone or i can charge an android or whatever i want to charge and then you use this to charge this actual device so i really like it i've been using this quite a bit on well my black one um i just got this white one and i really like it and I think from now on, I'm going to definitely carry one of these in my car. Just, I mean, you never know. And it really does charge your phone pretty well. And the other things I have in here, this is just my clicker. I know I've shown this quite a bit, but I really like to use it, my clicker. And then I, I rely right now on my Apple Watch because I've been in a gym quite a bit. And I like to make sure that I'm keeping my steps and things like that. Um, so I keep my um, Apple Watch charger. So it's just a portable charger. I do have to charge this periodically when the battery's down, but I could just put my um, Apple Watch charger on top of that little part right there and it charges my Apple Watch. So yeah, that's all I have in this little pouch, but I thought that that would be fun to turn into a tech pouch. Okay, so the next thing I have, so I found this fossil. So this looks like corduroy, right? It's actually suede. It's like leather and suede, but it's actually really neat because it feels feels like suede. And I thought that that would be cute to go with the corduroy theme of the bag. But it's just my card. So this is my card wallet right here that I'm using. And I have cards on this side. And I really like this wallet, but the only thing about it, so on the top, you see there's like this pocket right here. So it's not big enough to use for a card, but it's like there's no way to close it so I can't put anything else in there either I mean it's okay you know it's there but it would be nice if it was just a little bit bigger I can like stick a card down in there or stick something down in there but it's just kind of like a little a little reservoir in there I'm not sure what what you put in there but the card itself the card case itself I really like it and actually I found it off of Amazon but I thought that it was a really nice little card case especially to go with the purse and I have my lint roller because right now you never know, if, especially with this being, so I haven't had problems with lint on this yet, but it is like, you know, a material that could probably get linty. So I have this just in case, my little lint roller, and it's actually really, really convenient, you know, especially on, you know, black pants or something. If you're going to a meeting and you notice you have lint, what you do is you just roll whatever the lint is, and then you run this underwater and, you know, clean it all off and then let it dry and you're ready to go again. I really like that. So the next thing I have in here is my nail set. So this is nail clippers. It's just two different types of nail clippers. And there is a glass emery board right here in the middle. Now I got this from, I want to say Timo. I'm pretty sure I got this from Timo, but it's actually really convenient. I like that. Very compact, nice to carry in your purse. So the next thing I have, I have some rough spray right here. Just threw that in the back because you never know and then I have so I got this card case this is called it's from Amazon and it's from a company called hide and drink and this is leather and I kind of like that little leaf right there on the front and on the inside I'm just carrying some um, receipts and some coupons and then of course I have my card I've shown this my um it's 
an embossed card. So I've shown this card quite a bit, but it is my card that I use just in case someone, you know, I'm talking to somebody and they want to know about my channel. They can easily just, you know, point to this with their camera and go straight to my channel. And then it has my Rakuten code on the back. I really like this case because it is leather. Now it does get a little bit scratchy, but that's okay. It doesn't bother me because, you know, I kind of like it. It's like, I don't know, it gives a character. <laughs> And then the next thing I have in here, so this is my pen case, and it is leather as well. So it has one of my favorite types of pens. So this is a Sharpie pen, and I really like that. So I have that down in here just in case I ever need a pen. I can grab that real quick, and there we go. I have my pen. So let me see, what else do I have in here? Oh, so I have this. I know you guys have seen this before, but this is, no it's from Novelty Meds on... I want to say Etsy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Etsy. It's on novel. It's um. I'll find the link if I can find it. And I'll put it um in the description for you guys if you're interested. But you can um have on here whatever you want. So if you're looking to make something like this, especially you know for a gift or something, I just put the novel crown and I put carry in purse and take as needed for fresh breath. Share with others who also need fresh breath. So you want to do something funny. So there's been times where I've taken this out and I've grabbed a couple and popped them in my mouth and I'm sure people think that I'm like taking pills or something, but it's just, it's just uh, mints that are in the inside of there and I really like that. You guys know how much I love novelty stuff. So let's see, what else is in here? Oh, so you guys know since I've been in the gym quite a bit, one of the things that I do tend to carry with me, so these are jelly drops and it's kind of, imagine like Gatorade, but gel, jello, like a jello consistency. And if you see right there, I think these are strawberry. And I just keep them in my bag and it's like electrolytes. So if I ever just feel like, you know, I want something or I'm thirsty or just whatever, I just grab these, pop them in my mouth. They're actually really, they're pretty good. I mean, it just tastes like Gatorade jello. And that's as good. That's the best way I can describe it, but I really like carrying those. And let me take this out. So this is what the insert looks like it's just a tote insert it has the different wells in there and then on the inside of the bag this is what the inside of the bag looks like and like I said it's that same lining as the pouch and I really like this lining I think it, they did a great job picking out this type of lining because it's like it's actually pretty substantial and it's pretty soft I really like that so there's nothing in that pocket let see I think I've taken everything out but let me look in here so here's the back zipper pocket and on the inside of there, I just have my restroom kit. So on the inside of this, there is a, what do you call it? Like a seat cover, toilet paper, and a wipe. Just in case you never know, you go into the bathroom and, you know, they don't have any toilet paper or anything. I can grab this out of my purse and be okay. <laughs> and here is the bag, says Martha Stewart. But yeah, I really like this bag. It's called the Perfect Bag or the Perfect Tote. Let me look. Yeah, it's called the perfect bag and I do think that they did like a really great job with this bag I'm definitely gonna have a lot of fun um, using this bag I think it's very substantial it's gonna be a really nice fall bag so I hope that um, helps you guys if you're looking for a fall bag or if you didn't know about Martha Stewart bags because I sure didn't and I'll actually look and see what other bags she has but anyways thank you guys for coming and checking out my channel and watching my video. I appreciate that and all the comments and likes. Thank you very much. And as always, I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.